All right, ladies and gents, it is your pal Keith here again live in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. I've got my first ever Japanese Charvel from the modern post-Fender era. I'm super psyched. I've got a lot to say about it, and I can't wait to tell you. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, come join the circle of friends. Be one with the family. That's us. We have about 5,000 subscribers, and I show you super cool guitars I get from all around the world each and every day. Speaking of cool guitars I get from all around the world each and every day, I happen to have just gotten about 20 Dave Mustaine owned Megadeth guitars. Holy smokes, tour guitars that have traveled all over the world. Yes. Check out this one. Double neck V flight case. It's got Brazilian customs tape on it. Completely nuts. Yeah. You're going to get to see all of that, guys. And more. So you have to subscribe. But now we're going to talk about my first ever Japanese Charvel. So, couple of things to say. First impressions, as good if not better than USA Charvels. Absolutely better than USA Charvels from the 90s and 80s. Uh, you have modern craftsmanship. These The Marzios sound killer. Floyd Rose today are just... I mean, if, if you go and pick up a 30-year-old Floyd Rose... It's going to be rusty. It's going to be worn. It's just not going to be like this. Um, what else? The the neck. I mean, just look at the figuring on the fretboard. Do you see this? Do you see the grain on this? You, you, you don't get that on an older one. So, I mean, as you would expect, machinery, uh, carpentry, luthierism, if that's a word. You know, things, I mean, look at what guitar cases look like now. Holy smokes, you got this beautiful rubberized grip. Look at what lock latches look like. You've got, I mean, this thing looks like a U.S. Special Forces Pelican rifle case for a, for a 50 cal sniper rifle. Top mounted Floyd Rose, which we love. This thing's got a very Adrian Smith kind of vibe. But, um, yeah, I mean, people say all the time, uh, Mexican strats versus American. Can you can you tell a difference? Japanese. Uh, if I had to rate them, I would say. I would say you've got. I mean, the American and the Mexican strats. If you put a blindfold on, I don't think anybody could legitimately tell the difference. The interesting thing about the Japanese models and this is in general for the fender line of instruments is not only are they as good made as well made but um you get different finishes and options that they don't put on any other line of instruments and in my opinion they are better the uh the pick guard on this is awesome you've got one uh volume knob with kind of like the rubberized coating or whatever they put around it which is killer it's all blacked out murdered out as they say and it's got a very jakey lee kind of adrian smith vibe to it that i absolutely love and i will say hands down this japanese charvel beats any usa fender jackson charvel I mean, 99% of them from the 80s and 90s, guys. It I mean, it's really, really well built. It is like buying a, a Swiss watch, like a Breitling or a Rolex, guys. They're just... The attention to detail, I mean, you, you know they're well made because nobody makes guitars in Japan anymore other than ESP and Ibanez makes like super expensive super expensive ones but remember when japan used to be where like the cheap imports were 
not even Korea is where the cheap imports are anymore. Now it's Indonesia, India, China. Um, Japan's got like, what is, what is it, like the third or fourth largest economy in the world? It's a super, super industrialized, modern society. They make the best of the best of, of everything for, for many sectors. So their guitars are no different, guys. This is awesome. It's an awesome, awesome guitar. It feels superb. This thing is absolute mint, like brand new, off the store, off the shelf condition. I mean, there's no scratches in the back plate. There are a few little, I would call them just like aging little, I mean, the most minor of blemishes, like I see in the lacquer, there's like a wrinkle in the lacquer a little bit here, but that's not from abuse or even use. That is just because, uh, looks like this is a 10 year old instrument. I mean, in a couple days, it'll be 10 years old. Low serial number one, two, two, two. So yeah, black Grover's classic iconic Fender headstock with the skunk stripe, one piece maple neck and a beautiful neck. You can see the neck pockets. This is very much like going back in time and 10 years ago and pulling this off the shelf. Frankly, I'm not up to date on my 2019 and 2020 Charvels. I'm not sure if you can even get Japanese Charvels. It seems like everyone is pulling out of the Japanese market because they're just too expensive to make. And I think, frankly, they put the production U.S. models to shame. And they don't want to risk it. Getting too good of a reputation there, Japan. Good for you. Has the hang tag with matching serial number. Um, you know, the keys, everything. What is this? Looks like, the, oh, you've got, if you want to drill it into the back, the Allen key holder that you always saw on the back of the headstock for old school Charvels and Jacksons. I mean, this thing's awesome. My favorite pickups in the world are the Marzios. They absolutely scream. It's great. Great, 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 great. Not a single bad thing to say about it. Will blow the doors off of any production American model. I mean, it's 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 just uh, just as good, I should say, if not better, in, in zero ways inferior. So the the price the price point in my mind should be equal. All right, guys, I got to get going.